Hey everybody, Ethan here with Standing Stone, and we are back for, let's call this step 6.1, or point B, or whatever you want to put in there. We are still working on walk, hold and walk, okay? And this is an important thing that we need to get down solid before we move on to the big stuff next, which would be fetch work. <laughs> tricks here. We're going to get her started right off the bat. Again, keeping our sessions moving with each individual dog. Come on, babe. Walking, um, coming into a very important part of the process now. Now, as you're following along, you may run into some hiccups. This is going to be important to take advantage of the resources available to you, which is patreon.com slash standing stone kennels. We're set up there to answer questions on the daily as well as set up video chat so that we can watch you in your training sessions. I've got tricks here. You can see um, she is reserved and you're going to see different personalities between the dogs in this video as well as your dogs at home. That's the whole point. Every dog goes through this process just a little bit different. We are um, going to do just a couple quick reps here. Hold. This is the object I'm going to be using. So we're starting with it. Good. Come on. Same thing that we did before. We're gonna see if we can get more movement this time. Only walking one direction, this is important. That turnaround is a big step. Good, hold, come on, hold, come on. Now I haven't done any sessions between the last one that you watched and this one. Good, so you're getting to see actual progression in training. Come here, come on tricks, good. Um, this is kind of a fun fact. Dogs' brains are directly attached to their feet. Uh, I know that's a little bit of a push here, but in essence, it seems to work that way. If you ever have a moment when you're working with your dog, they know how to do something like sit or come or kennel or in this situation, calling her for a recall and she just kind of stood blank. We've got to get those feet moving and then ask again. This little tap here made a jingle, kind of helped her. As soon as you get your dog's feet moving, it resets their brain. Let's go with a hold, hold, come on, good girl, good girl, ah, no, asking for a lot here, big pushes from our one step at a time from last time, good, come on, let's do another rep, continue to build momentum, hold, come on, hold, come on, Hold, come on, hold, good, there you go, let's go. We're gonna do one more this way, and then we'll see if we can get a little bit of a turn. She's doing a nice job, okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hold, here, hold, here, hold, good. That was big, she made the turn, good. Let's try it again. And then we're gonna call that it for this session for her. Good. Hold. A little turn this way. Come on. Hold. Come on. Hold. Hold. Tricks here. Hold. Here. Good. Good. Nice. So that is actual progression. From, you saw the first session with walk and hold, we took baby steps, this is her second session with walk and hold. We need to do a little bit more, but I'm thinking in the next session for her, we should be able to make a transition away from just this one object and make loops up and down the table. If we can go up and down while holding, we'll be ready to move on to step seven with tricks. Step six, this is the second session for shock. She's our hyper mover. We're gonna do a couple holds. Come on. We'll do a couple holds while she's clipped up down here to work on first. Ooh, ouch. I got my finger stuck in the pulley. All right. Here, hold. We're looking for that little munch out of her. Hold. Good. That was falling out. Okay, so this is being aware and honest about what's happening in your session. I need to pay closer attention there. Hold. 
Good. Much, much better. Aha. Unclip the dog if you want them to walk. Let's go ahead and move from this end. Come on. Hold. Good. Um, that stop and sniff here, okay? She's walking down the table, she stopped and sniffed. The reason that I allowed her to do that is it's going to be a distraction. It was obviously, it was obviously a distraction there. If I don't allow her to work through that, whatever, it, whatever was on the table here, she got to cross that off of her list of things to do. I sniffed that, now I know that it's been sniffed, we can move on. If you fight some of those things, it's just general dog stuff, she's going to have this in her mouth, she's gonna start, she's gonna be distracted by it on the way by. So give your dog the opportunity to work through a handful of things as long as, again, it doesn't become a habit of she's ignoring or avoiding the process by trying to sniff things or what have you. Hold, start her first rep here, hold. Hold, uh, 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 uh. keep your head up, no, no, come on, hold, hold, good, so nowhere near as good as tricks, right, all right, come on babe, come on, there's an example, right, lots of distractions, now let's work past them, you got the opportunity to sniff, I gave you a second, now let's move on. Hold, hold, good, good, come on, hold, hold, ah, hold, good. She recognized them at the end of the table, that means the end of the rep, that means spit it. That's an anticipation thing, that's what dogs are, there must have been something really nice on this table, I'm guessing some dead birds maybe or something in that category. Hold, 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 uh -uh. hold, good, let's do another rep. She's making progress, but still nowhere near ready to continue to move on to new objects or anything else, or attempt that turn. Hold, Shh. hold, come. come on, hold, hold. Good, we got most of the table. Let's see if we can do one more and get the whole table, and then we're gonna call that her session. She's definitely going to need some more sessions, probably two or three, hold, of hold and walk. Hold, hold, hold. Good, that was really good, and a good place to end off of. We got the opportunity to build, build, build off of success. We did have a few hiccups in there, but all in all, she's making good progress. Alrighty, we have Clay. He's been doing a really good job with his hold work. In his last session, he had a really good start to holding and walking. Let's see how well he does. I think I'm feeling good. Confident that he'll be doing about the same as what Trix is. Start at one end or the other, and as long as you don't have a camera on you, it doesn't really matter where you start. Hold. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hold. Come on, hold, good. This is building off of success. That is the key here. We've had one session before this where we did one step at a time. People are like, oh, you could have asked for more in that last session. We could have, but we left him with the understanding that I walk and I hold. I just do it in a really slow pattern. Here, we're asking for more, and thus far, he's doing a nice job. Speaking of cameras, I would recommend strongly that you video every single one of your training sessions. It's gonna give you the ability to go back, watch them and see, does it look like what I was watching on YouTube or not? Hold, this will allow you to self critique yourself and grow. Come on, hold, pick your head up. Come on, come on, come on, good. Okay, movement's been his issue from day one and you're still seeing that. He's a little less, come on, turn around. He's a little less confident to move, unlike Shock, who is the super mover, but that's okay. Our end goal with him, hold, is not to be able to walk up and down tables, right? There's no tables that we hunt. Come on, hold, Clay, come on, hold, pick your head up, let's go, hold. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I want to be a little encouraging, but not overly encouraging, good to get him excited and then spit the bumper. Come on. 
Come on. Turn around, sir. Good boy. Last rep for him. Hold. Hold. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Hold. Keep that head up. Come here. Come on. Come on. Good. Hold. Here. Hold. Good job. Here. Hold. Good. That's a really, really, really good place to end. We made big progress again. Um, I think probably everybody so far is going to benefit from one more session of some um, holding and walking, moving through multiple different objects. So far, shock probably two to three more sessions, but all in all, they're doing a nice job. Good boy. All right, we're here with Legacy. We're going to start here with a few basic hold reps again. Good. And then we'll do a few by one. That one was really good, so we don't need to hammer it into the ground. We need to move on. Now let's do some hold and walk. Hold. Good. Hold. Pick your head up. She wanted to drop her head a lot, but she's doing a nice job walking with me. Hold. Good. Come on. Good girl. You're doing a nice job. Hold. Hold. Ah, no. That's part of the problem with her dragging her head. She stepped on the cord. Hold. Come on, come on, come on. Pick your head up. Good. Let's do another one. <laughs> Legacy. Good girl. Good girl. All right. She's doing a good job. She's not really trying to drop. But what I explained with her last time is she's not really trying hard to hold on either. Hold. She's there. She's doing the task but putting in minimal effort. Hold. 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 Good. Come on. Come on, legs. So I smell the same thing as Shock did. Good girl. Let's try another rep. Hold. Good. Come on. Hold. 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 Good. I don't know if we're going to get a turn, but we're going to do this as the last rep and see if a turn looks like it'll work or not. Here. Good. Hold. Come on. Hold. Got to pick her head up. She's not going to drop it. She doesn't seem like she's going to. Come on. Here. Here. Hold. 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 Pick your head up. Hold. Good girl. Good girl. Good. Not a clean turn, but she made it. And that's a big, 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 big transition. Or a big... Hmm. It was an awesome gain uh, in, in ground moving forward. We do need to work more on those things. Again, more holding and walking, moving into multiple objects. That was big, though, for her to be able to make the turn at all. Good. All right, on to the last for today, and definitely moving very rapidly into, well, pretty much been the whole time, my favorite dock. Hold. Hold. Good. All right, let's come down here and do some holds and walks, bud. You can see his confidence, willingness to please. He reminds me a lot of his daddy. Thunder, come on. Hold. 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 Good. He has a really good grip, so here's the explanation of why I didn't do quite so much picking up for him. Even though he dropped his head, which I talked about, this was a judgment call of being able to say, you are doing a really, really, really good job holding, and you've proven that through each session moving up to this. So I put less emphasis on picking up his head, more emphasis on allowing him to walk, where Legacy would be more likely to drop than him right now. Hold. Hold. Here, come on. Hold. Here. Hold. Made that look really easy. Hold. Good. All, again, judgment calls based off the fact that I've done quite a few of these and 
I'm paying really close attention to each individual dog. That was very short for him. That's fine. Don't feel like your sessions have to be long. They need to be able to accomplish things. The turn being a big one, the up and down the table, he made the full length, he made the whole process look easy. We don't need to continue to push him. The smaller steps you take during this process, the faster you're gonna get there. And ultimately, the end goal is still achievable with those short, short sessions. I'm a guy, I'm, I'm completely lost now on who I even am. I'm the guy with the pink gun. This is Doc. We'll see you all in the next video.